Okay, so I've got the uh, materials assigned to my deck and I've adjusted the materials on some of my doors. And now I want to work on the tiles that I want for the interior. So I'm going to go firstly to the ground floor plan. And, uh, no, sorry, I've done mine a bit differently. I'm just going to show you, show you the difference. Uh, so in mine, I've added an extra level for my bathroom floor. Now, if you don't have that, you can easily use the ground floor level for your bathroom floor. But I've made that extra bathroom floor level because I want my bathroom floor to be 150 mil below my ground floor. So in other words, uh, it's going to step down, I think, from the entry down to the bathroom floor. Just one step. Right, and so if you want to have a go at that, just remember you need to make a level in a section view like I have. And then you'll have a floor plan with that name. So I've called that level bathroom floor. And so over here in floor plans, I've got bathroom floor. And then I know uh, what height I'm working at. And I'm just going to click on the floor tool. And I'm going to keep it simple. I'm just going to click on the rectangle shape in the draw panel. And just click two points to draw the shape of the floor I want. Tick to finish. And as you should be doing by now, check it in 3D to see what the um, object looks like with the height that you've set and you know make sure you're comfortable orbiting around to see again how that's working with everything else. So I can see clearly there that this door is at the same height as my floor. And just to show you that if I select the door we can see it's also set to bathroom floor. So maybe while I'm at it I'll get that WC and again I'm going to select it. And then in properties, I can see the level as well, and I'll change it there just to bathroom floor. So now I'll go back to that floor, edit type, so we're getting used to this, to change the material. Now I'm going to do an extra step here because I've used that floor type, which is called generic 150 for some of the other floors. I don't want them to change. So I'm going to duplicate this floor and give it a new name. So it's bathroom tiles that I'm trying to uh, add to this. So I'm going to call it tile floor. The names are just for you. So don't think too hard about the names you're using. They're really just so that you know what you've made. Then you can go back to it. So tile floor is the name for my new floor type. And then to assign materials to floors, you've got to go to the structure. So here you'll see this comes up for lots of things. Walls and roofs are the same. Got that structure option and you just click edit to get to the material. Just show you that again. So against that first edit button, we need to keep an eye out for. And then just like a lot of these, if they're too small, you can always drag it out, bottom right corner. And then I can read everything here under material where it's by category, just like a lot of the other things. You can click there and then browse. And we're back to our familiar material browser. Now, unfortunately, with the default template, you don't get a good ceramic material to start with. But don't worry about that. You can use any material, really, to start. So ceiling tiles would work, believe it or not. Or anything, doesn't matter. Copper, doesn't matter. I'm going to right click on any of those materials and duplicate. And we'll call it ceramic tiles. So now I'm just going to repeat the process I've shown you. Going to the Appearance tab, right click, 
And I should have shown you there are buttons. If you don't like right clicking, the buttons at the end here do the same thing. The first one is replace, the second one is duplicate. But you know, I'm a PC person, so I'm used to right clicking. And uh, I find that the easiest. So again, we'll do this for most materials that you make. Right click on the appearance tab or choose the replace button. Go to replace. And we've got our asset browser. <coughs> again, back to the appearance library folder. And that's what you'll use every time, pretty much. And there's a ceramic folder. And you have all these nice tile materials ready to go. And they're easy to customise as well. So, I guess that looks a bit interesting. We've got these plain white tiles if you want to start with something basic. But uh, you've also got mosaic tiles and lots of other things. Uh, where's the one I want? Sorry, that's not it. Ah, that's the one I want to go for these mosaic blue ones. Yeah, so I'm going to double click and close the asset browser and there's our material. I'm not even going to adjust it, I'm just going to use it as is. But I'm going to go back to graphics and tick use vendor appearance and then I'm going to add a surface pattern because it's a really important thing that you at least have a crosshatch uh, to indicate tiles. So again, click where it says none. Don't worry about cut patterns for now, so you can leave that alone. Uh, and just make sure you're working with the surface pattern option to choose the pattern there. Again, click none. And again, remember model for all your surface patterns. So those mosaic tiles are very small, but we don't need to use a small crosshatch necessarily. You can just use one of these 100 mil square or maybe the 50 mil square. And that's it. Okay. 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 And unfortunately, you don't see it while it's selected. That really annoys me about Revit, but click to one side and we can see our dense mosaic pattern, but at least it looks like tiles. And going back to shaded, we can see it with the crosshatch. Now, because I've shown a few of you how to change the size, I'm going to show everyone. Um, you don't have to do this, but it's, uh, it's going to help you just to get an idea how it all works. Uh, so I'm going to adjust that material now. So I'll select the floor, edit type. Again, click edit, fix to structure to go back to the material. There's my ceramic tiles. So I'll click there and click browse and then go to the appearance tab where I can see that image. So if you click on the image itself where you can see the, the tiles in this case, click there and it'll come up with the texture editor. And just like a lot of these dialog boxes you sometimes need to expand that to see everything. And then you can see the size. So at the moment, that image is about 700 mil in our scene, or our project. I want it to be about double the size it is at the moment. So I'm going to make it 1400. And then we don't need to change the bottom. I'm just going to click there, because those are locked together. So they'll change automatically. So I can't see any change here, except that the numbers have changed but you'll see it on that sample. And by the way, you can change that sample to different options. So if you go to plane, uh, where is it, plane? That'll look more like a floor. Just updating, there we are. That's on low quality, we'll see on high quality, it'll look better, there we are. And you've got all these other options. See how it looks in different scenarios. So that's it. So you can adjust those textures. And uh, again, I'll click OK. OK, OK. And now we've got the guitars. 
Okay, and so then I'll just remind you I can use the same material, say with this bar, because I've used model in place to make it. I've got to select it, go to edit in place, and then select the extrusion. Maybe here where it says by category, I can browse. I can use the same material. Clicking OK. Remember, sometimes you've got to do it twice, but that no, this time it's OK. And there we are. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. So there's an option for that. Um, I'll go further with that later, but it's this one here. Paint lets you change uh, each surface individually. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so I'll give you a chance to try that. Um, if you want to change a wall, I'll just show you. I'm not going to go through it all, but you'll see walls are the same as floors. If you select a wall, go to Edit Type. Notice you've got the same option there. Structure. You click Edit, and it works just like a floor. So, so those are all the main ways of assigning materials.